Assalamu alaikum, my name is Dr. Zutakali and I am currently working at Mitz Parker. Today our topic is about breast cancer. Breast cancer is the most common carcinoma in middle aged women by incidence and it is also the second most common cause of uh, carcinoma mortality in women. So breast is made from sweet gland, modified sweet gland which is derived from skin. And the functional unit of breast is terminal labule. Labules make milk, which is then drained via the ducts to the nipple, which contains subalveolar ducts. Breast contain 12 to 15 subalveolar ducts and labules and duct have two linings one is laminar second one is myoepithelial Liminal is the inner layer which function is to make milk and myoepithelial is the outer layer which have contractile function which help in the movement of milk from the ducts to the nipple. A breast is hormone sensitive which undergo hyperplasia, hyperplasia in pregnancy with the help of estrogen and progesterone. <clears throat> the nipple duct is plugged by keratin. When this keratin is dislodged from the nipple duct, we can see physiological secretion on the surface of nipple which can vary in color. Now we have to discuss about the attachment of the breast. Breast is loosely attached between the skin and pectoral fascia. To the skin it is attached with the help of Cooper's ligament. which then extend from the clavicle superiorly down on the abdominal wall about the blood supply of the breast. So breast is supplied superior laterally by lateral thoracic artery which is the branch of axillary artery and superior medially by perforating branch of internal memory artery and lymphatic drainage of the breast is lymphatic drainage of the breast extend over the axillary nodes which is present below the axillary vein And there are about 20 to 30 nodes which are present in the axilla below the axillary vein. And these nodes are divided into three levels based on the based on pectoral minor muscle. Level 1 are those nodes which are present lateral to the pectoral minor. Level 2 are present beneath the pectoral minor. Level 3 are present medial to the pectoral minor. And the level 1 nodes 
which are present later to the pectoral minor are most commonly and firstly affected by the breast cancers and occasionally the cancerous tissue drains into the interpectoral nodes this is also called rotor's node and is present between the pectoralis major and minor some causes and risks of breast cancer first of all is gender female have more chances than males age female who have age more than 80 or 90 strong family history like in first relative there is more chances of breast cancer hormonal exposure like estrogen and the use of OCPs or contraceptive pills obesity is also one of the risk factor and early menarche late menopause means if a woman have more menstrual cycles and also late first pregnancy after the age of 30 years and also some genetic mutations like BRCA1 most common for breast cancer as well as ovarian cancer and BRCA2 more common for breast cancer in males the classification of the breast cancer there is invasive and non-invasive non-invasive ductal carcinoma in situ and lower carcinoma in situ and invasive contain invasive carcinoma of duct invasive carcinoma of lobules memory mammillary carcinoma inflammatory carcinoma and faggot disease of the nipple so we have to discuss about the spreading of the breast cancer it split by three ways spreading by local lymphatics and hematogenous local it spread to chest wall lymphatically it spread into axillary nodes enter memory nodes supraclavicular nodes and hematogenous it spreads to bones liver lungs and brains and now the clinical features patient may present with a palpable mass in the upper outer quadrant nipple retraction bloody discharge 
एंड एक्जिलरी लिम्ब एडिनो पैथी एंड मे आल्सो प्रेजेंट विद द मेटास्टेसिस फीजर्स लाइक ए पेट इज मेटास्टाइज टू द बोन देन देयर विल बी बोन ए पेन एंड एफ टू लंग्स देन देयर विल बी रेस्पिरेटरी फीजर लाइक हिमोप्टाइसिस प्लीवरल इफ्यूजन एटसेट्रा and now for the diagnosis if we want to diagnose the malignancy we can do fine needle aspiration we and to cut biopsy needle biopsy and also we can do um, palpatory method which will be ultrasound guided and the last but not the least and also incisional biopsy and if you want to diagnose the local extent of the disease then we can do mammography ultrasound and mri and for the lymph node involvement we can do clinical judgment and sentinel biopsy and if you want to check systemic spread like for pulmonary metastasis we can do chest x ray and ct chest for liver metastasis we can do ultrasound and ct abdomen for brain we can do ct brain and for bone metastasis we can do radio isotope scan now we have to discuss about the tnm staging t for tumor and for nodes involvement m for metastasis so for tumor we have tis t1 t2 t3 and t4 tis is carcinoma in situ T1 if the primary tumor is less than 2 cm T2 is from 2 cm to 5 cm T3 is more than 5 cm and T4 is if it involve the chest wall all or the skin and for nodes there is n0 if no lymph nodes it involve n1 if epsilateral lymph node is involved but mobile n2 epsilateral axillary lymph node involvement but fixed and n3 if epsilaterally enter mammillary lymph node is in what m par metastasis which can be m0 if no distant metastasis and m1 if distant metastasis is present